This exhibit in our resource room features our beloved curator, Dr. Reiner Engel, who curated the museum for almost 20 years. Uh, his grandson even helped us build this exhibit. Now, one of his favorite artifacts, he even demonstrated it for CNN, is the anti-masturbation ring. Now, in the 1800s, there was a huge outcry against masturbation, and it really started, let's say, in Europe. But it soon came over to America, and we even have a pamphlet that was discovered in a time capsule. It was written by the American Medical Institute, which was founded in 1857, and the entire pamphlet is about the dangers of masturbation, all the horrible things that will happen to you, like, you've heard these jokes, going blind, uh, losing your mind, being weak. Well, people didn't really understand the effects of ejaculation at that time. So instruments like this were developed, this spermatorrhea ring it was called. And the idea behind it was you put it on your little boy's penis before he went to sleep at night. And if he had a nocturnal erection, sooner or later, the sides of the penis would be pressed against these sharp spikes. And that would be the end of the erection. Now to us, this seems incredibly cruel. But this was so commonly thought of that it's even shown in a Sears catalog from 1903. They sold the spermatorrhea ring for a quarter.